passing over to the complex numbers. Look at the quadratic equation five, a minus five plus two i squared, operating on f of n is zero. So the factor is a minus five plus two i, so the root is five minus two i, but it's a root of multiplicity two. Then that, those root, the root to the n and n times the root to the n are both solutions. Okay, so what is the general statement? I'm going to put it on these two slides, and I'm going to give it to you two different ways, but these slides say exactly the same thing. If you have a polynomial in the advancement operator, P of A, we've looked at linear ones and quadratic ones, but you can have polynomial operators, equation of, of any de degree. But if you have a root, not zero, of multiplicity m, then each of the following functions is a solution. The root to the nth power, n times the root to the nth power, n squared times the root, et cetera, all the way up to n to the m minus one. So the number of functions there is the multiplicity. The multiplicity is seven, there are seven terms. The multiplicity is 10, there are 10 terms. If the multiplicity is one, there's just one term. 